So gRPC is um, is an open source universal high performance RPC framework, as it's our tagline, uh, mm-hmm. and it's trying to solve the problem of making uh, you know connecting and operating distributed systems easy, right? So that's that's our mission with which we operate. Um, we're trying to make uh, developers, companies' lives easier when it comes to you know some systems talking to some other systems in reliable um, ways and in ways that they don't have to do a lot of heavy lifting around serialization, reconnections, retrials, uh, cancellations. And a lot of that is something that a framework can take care for them independent of whichever language they are operating in. Okay, and uh, how long has this been around? It's been around for about, uh, let me see, about a year and a half, I would say, um, since, yes, about middle of 15. And, and I see that it had a 1.0 release, I guess, about six months ago, was it? Yeah, August this year. Yeah, so slightly Okay, less. good. Oh, my math is almost right. <laughs> Actually, no, it is not, about four months, but that's okay. I, I'm <laughs> forgiven. I'm getting old now. So, um, so... So Google invented this to solve their own, you know, scratch their own itch. But wasn't, aren't there already a number of libraries in this space? Yes, there are. Um, and I think what's to be noticed is Google open sourced it, um, a new version of what they were using a year and a half ago. But, you know, Google wrote a version of RPC for their own use many years ago. Uh, but you know when Google started back in '98. Uh, so really, we've you know from a backend perspective, Google has had an RPC framework. What uh, internally uh, still runs is called Stubby, um, and you know Stubby comes from the word stub, which is you know something everyone who learns RPC learns. So uh, and that's you know so so our what we use dates back 15, 16 years ago. This is um, our open source rendition, you know, learnings from the last, you know, 10, 15 years have gone into this um, new open source version of it. Cool. Uh, Jan, uh, let's, let's uh, jump over to you for a second. So, so you were one of the founders of this project. What had you decide to shift from just using internal materials to actually uh, uh, pr- publishing this as an open source project? So over time, uh, if you see at Google, we've we've started open sourcing a lot more projects, TensorFlow, gRPC, our Kubernetes, our bunch of uh, these things. And what we realized uh, over a long period of time is we built a lot of good technology, didn't take an extra mile to open source it or build it in open source, and then different variants came up. And it just fragmented the overall um, uh, open source world and how people are using. For example, we had built Bigtable, there was a HBase built, MapReduce, there was Hadoop. So there were lots of such things that, and so with uh, that we realized that we need to build it in open source so that the open source marketplace is not as fragmented as um, it is today. So that was one of the reasons. And uh, the second reason was we, we did want to ask people to build uh, Google-like microservices in our Google Compute platform. And uh, we thought it would be good to give out some of the things that we have built so people can build their own microservices the same way and um, scale them. Okay. Uh, for, yeah, first, I, I do want to back up a step and applaud uh, Google for... Um, you know, open sourcing so much stuff. I mean, I, I know a lot of the things I'm using in for, for my various clients ends up being maybe traceable back to Google um, in, in, in various ways sometimes. Um, so so let's talk about how this RPC, can, can you give me a more detailed description of, of, of uh, how this is actually working? I mean, what, what do I see in my code and sure. and how how does it how does it help me that that this thing is doing something called RPC? Yeah. So uh, typically, uh, when you want to scale, you want to build a service and then you want to scale it. When you want to scale it, you want to split different uh, modules of this service into different components and communicate between these. RPC basically allows you to talk 
request a service from a different program running on a different uh, computer in such a manner that you don't have to worry about any networking details, etc. underneath. So you don't need to know how to connect to a service. You don't need to serialize the data, etc. So uh, what? So so we've built a RPC system which looks like a procedure call, and we've also integrated with a service definition in protocol buffers, and it can be integrated with any other service definition. But what that gives you is you can, in an ideal, write your API service contract where uh, you can have uh, methods like create bank account, deposit money into bank account. And we generate code from this across different languages. And so in your code, you end up using function calls like this stub create bank account. This stub, so it looks very natural, idiomatic to people as if they're writing their program in a serial, uh, in a sequential manner on a single computer. But effectively, it uh, gives a, uh, it try it connects with different services and uses it so uh, yeah so it hides all the network communication and it from the api uh, service contract ideal it gives you a higher level functions which look like uh, what your logic would and so you can focus on your business logic or application logic so for someone maybe like 20 years older than you they might remember terms like corba or um XML RPC and, and things like that. Uh, how is this uh, different? How is this better? Well, I hope yeah. you know something about the, the things that preceded this, but maybe you don't. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, RPC is an old concept. It's a uh, standard operating system concept uh, started in the 70s, and there have been different uh, uh, XML RPCs, Corba, etc. Typically, all of them were very heavyweight, and they... Um, opinions, but they, they they became very heavyweight. Uh, with gRPC, we have tried to keep uh, the benefits of RPC where it looks like a, a, a remote function call. It is very easy to use, but also is very lightweight and uh, doesn't accumulate a lot of graft. Uh, and so we've used uh, an RPC system called Stubby for 10 plus years. All of Google is built on it. So we have a lot of background in how what we have learned out of this. We've built search, ads, maps, storage, all the infrastructure, YouTube, everything using Stubby. And we've taken those lessons and applied those to uh, gRPC. And that's why we are fairly confident that uh, gRPC is a good solution for inter-process communication.